quality standpoint, there's there's really no other aircraft out there that, it, that has achieved what we've achieved on this aircraft. Lockheed Martin celebrates a monumental delivery. The company delivered its 150th state-of-the-art Seahawk helicopter to the U.S. Navy. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. I'm Scott Kirk, thanks for choosing Twin Tiers tonight in high definition. Now, the Seahawk is known as the workhorse of Navy helicopters, used for training and missions around the world. WENY TV's Tanja Reiki was at the Owego plant when workers celebrated their milestone. She's now live in the studio with the story. Tanja. Renata and Scott, Lockheed Martin is set to make 300 of these Seahawk helicopters for the Navy, and today they reached their half point mark. There's nothing like getting a brand new aircraft. It has a new car smell, as we all say. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Holly Hoxie from Squadron 41 out of San Diego has the honor of flying this brand new state-of-the-art Navy helicopter to its new home on the West Coast. This aircraft is the most technically advanced multi-mission helicopter in, in the world, and it's just, it's a pleasure to fly. It is, um, you know, we're capable of doing so much more with this aircraft. Um, I'm, yes, I feel more protected in this aircraft for sure. Hoxie has over a thousand mission hours in the MH-60R and says she's wanted to fly a brand new one back to her base for years. The sensor suite that we have on this aircraft is really world class, so it allows the uh, Navy uh, unprecedented capability to identify our uh, adversaries at sea for both anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare. Congressman Tom Reed Korea. was there for the milestone. Uh, he says he came to show the community he supports their hard work. Reed says one of his top priorities in Washington is to make sure the government doesn't gut defense funding as a March 1st deadline looms for a trillion dollars in spending cuts. I wanted to send a message by coming here today that we're going to stand with Lockheed Martin. We're going to stand with our local workforce and make sure that we're, we continue to have the ability to produce the types of quality ma machines you see right behind me. The helicopters are gaining international attention and have been purchased by Denmark and Australia. The last MH-60 they will deliver to the Navy is scheduled for 2018 and the program director, Tom Kane, says he's optimistic about international sales beyond then. Live in the studio, Tanja Reiki, WENY-TV News. Thank you very much, Tanja.